Hi, and welcome to our presentation video of the beta version of Interactive Rooms. An interactive room is a workspace created inside a web browser, allowing several people to collaborate on Visual Studio Online projects simultaneously. All you need to do is share its URL address. You won't even need access to Visual Studio itself. In this video, we will host a team review in an interactive room from inside Visual Studio, but we also give you the option to do it directly from the web. When you are inside Visual Studio, make sure that you are logged on to VS Anywhere using our public server and that the project you want to share is stored in a Visual Studio Online repository. Please note that at the moment, the system only supports c -sharp projects. Open the Solution Explorer and right-click your project. From here, you can choose from two options. New Team Review from this project using the last commit, meaning that your default browser automatically opens a new window with the interactive room, directly using the information from your last commit. No setup needed. The other option is New Team Review from this project, meaning that your default browser automatically opens a new window in which you will be able to choose some advanced settings. We'll choose this one. First, we need to sign in with our VS Anywhere credentials. If it's the first time you are creating an interactive room, you will also need to authorize VS Anywhere inside Visual Studio Online. Now, we can choose which team project, commit, and project that you want to give access to. If you have access to a team room in Visual Studio Online, you can add a comment and people will find the link attached in the team room activity list. As soon as you're logged in, you see this pop-up message with the URL address you need to share with your friends to have them join. I simply copy it to later paste it in a mail or chat message. I left the Visual Studio Online team room opened, so let's have a quick look. Here you can see the message you left for your coworkers and a link to the interactive room. In the interactive room, you have all the project files listed on your left side. You can simply open them to write code. Underneath, you have the contact list, where you can click other connected users to chat with them. In the upper left-hand corner, you find three buttons. First is Create Snapshot, which lets you save your opened project files in their current state. Later, if you or someone else wants to go back to a version before certain changes have taken place, the snapshots are stored in the session history. When you or a coworker have finished collaborating, you can download the project to commit it to the repository by clicking Download Current Status. In the View History tab, you see all snapshots created when pressing Create Snapshot. Please visit our support center for an elaborated article on the interactive rooms. Happy coding!